What's up everybody? Hey, Brian Tong here. And if you've been on my channel, you saw my unboxing of this, the PS VR2. So what I'm going to do here now is we're going to do a setup. And honestly, we're going to do like an initial, uh, initial setup and then review. But it won't be a full review because all of really the key flagship games aren't available just yet. So think of this as the semi review to the full review, but still a review with a setup. Okay, so let's just start off here. Obviously, we have the PSVR2 headset. And um, I also have the ear the earbuds that come with the system, at least for now. Um, these are connected here. You can connect it with a pair of hardwired ear ear headphones if you want, or even the uh, 3D Pulse headphones. A few others as well that talk to the USB uh, wireless connector on your PS5. But we're gonna start here with the PSVR2 and everyone asks, how long is this cable? So I actually measured it out and it's just under 15 feet. So this cable, this physical cable that tethers you to the PS5, is roughly, at least from what I checked, around 14 feet and eight inches. So um, I'm gonna actually just take it all the way over here and I'm gonna plug it in to the PS5 and it just goes into one single connection into the USB-C port, okay? So got that there. And then we're gonna start off uh, with our controller here. So we'll just jump into, I have my user right here, Brian Tong. So we're here on my main menu screen and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the PSVR2 right now, okay? I'm gonna release this to get it on here and what I notice is right away that the ability for it to black out and you know not prevent any light leakage, light leakage in here is already improved from the original PSVR headset that I had. Um, I mean, if I, even down here on the nose, it's really tight. It's, I mean, I can't, I literally can't, Get any light leakage so this is this is really good and on the bottom here there's actually a power button so i'm just going to power this up and when i press the power button you actually feel it vibrate and i can see inside the headset right now and okay it's telling me to remove my vr headset and follow the instructions on the tv screen right now so i'm going to remove it it's asking me to update now so let's let's run the update obviously and this is what happens when you first set it up okay Okay, it's sending me set up your PlayStation VR 2 headset. And I'm gonna get started. Connect the stereo headphones to your VR headset, which I have, these are um, these two things right here. I did that already, so I'm gonna hit done. Okay. It says pair your VR 2 Sense controllers one by one. So this is um, by first connecting them to your PS5 using a USB cable. So let's get that real quick. Okay, so I have my cable. I'm gonna take these controllers over here and let's connect each of them one by one. Okay. And it's me. Okay. So I've got my controllers connected here now. Let's put the PSVR back here. Okay, the headset is connected. It says getting your PlayStation set up. We're gonna keep on going through this setup. Okay. When you're ready, press the function button, the VR set to go to the next step. Okay, so there's a button here. This. This button here is actually allows you to toggle between being in virtual reality and then using the cameras to see what's around you. But I'm gonna hit it here. It says attention before use this, read this. It's a safety warning about surroundings and obstacles. So I'm gonna hit that. So yeah, it's this little button here. Here's the main power button. And then here's, this is the button that toggles between virtual reality and then seeing your outside world. It says to enjoy your safe experience, set up your room properly, clear space so there's nothing that you're gonna trip over, okay? Adjust the brightness of your room. Turn on the lights so your VR headset can track your surroundings. Okay. It says avoid direct sunlight. It says check the brightness of your room using the camera on your VR headset. Hold your VR headset at face level and then press the button to start checking. Okay, we are checking it right now. Brightness check is complete. Next, follow the on-screen guide on how to put on your VR headset. Okay. Press and hold to pull out the scope. We've done that. Okay, done. Release the headband here. That's for that part. We've shown you that as well. 
and then put on your VR headset. They really had me lower the headband. All right, I'm getting it back in here. Get in the right spot. I'm gonna bring this in a little closer to get it just completely blacked out. Okay. Tighten the dial. Pull in the scope. Okay. And I'm gonna hit done. I'm good to go here. Put on your stereo headphones. I'm gonna, where do they pop these guys in here? Okay. I can hear the audio now here coming through here. And I'm gonna hit done. Make sure I can see the screen clearly. They're asking me to change the dial if, to help see more clear. And I think, I think we're really good to go. Okay, lens adjustment's good. Done. Oh wow, I can see now it just switched over to the outside world. This is, I mean, this is cleaner than it's been before. They're asking me to pick up and hold the grips. I'm gonna actually put the loops in my hands. Okay. Okay, and hold the grips. It says I'm done now. How to use my PSVR controllers. Move around, okay. They're telling me the buttons to use. <clears throat> Here are the triggers. L2, R2, L1, R1, and then the create button, which is over here, and the options button. Got that. Okay, press and hold the options button to set the direction you're facing as the front. Press and hold it. Okay, this is kind of resets your location in case you move. Okay, I'm going to hit okay. And now we're going to do adjust eye tracking, where it tracks the movement of your eyes. During adjustment, follow the red dot with just your eyes. So... There is a camera system inside that can track our eyes and allows us to focus on specific areas. So I'm gonna start this. Okay, I'm supposed to focus on this red dot with a white like border. Okay, now I have see just a white screen with a red dot with a black border. And it's calibrating it while I eye track it. This is so cool. Eye tracking adjustment is complete. Try it out by looking at the surrounding dots. Oh, so they have this screen where you can see my eyes. If I look in certain directions, it highlights the dot I'm looking at to tell me that the eye tracking is working. This is crazy. This is already awesome. <laughs> Love this. All right, set your play area. It's gonna ask me to start scanning. Look all around you, including your ceiling, your floors, and your walls. Now I have a coffee table here. I wonder if it's gonna ask me to, but it's, it's creating a 3D map of my entire room. Look around everywhere, the ceilings, the walls. It says the scan is complete. I'm gonna hit next. Set floor height. So it says look at the floor, it should appear if it looks like you're flowing, gently touch your room's floor with your PS Sense controller. Okay, to get the floor, there we go. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just touching it so it knows. And it says stay seated or stand still or move around. I'm going to, I guess I like, I like standing, but let's do seating here for this time, okay? It depends on the game. I'll stay seated here, just for at least our initial demo purposes. Pick a place where you won't run into obstacles when stretching your arms and legs. I got it. I'm going to set the play area right here. Okay, play area complete. It's created this grid for me of where I'll stay within boundaries. And hopefully you can all see that on the screen. It's now transporting me into this, like, space with a galaxy. PlayStation VR 2. I can already tell the fidelity here is significantly better than the original PSVR. It looks nice. You can always see your surroundings by hitting this button, just real quick, toggle it on and off. You can even, wow, you can even see your fingers in really crisp detail when I get even up this close. Okay. Okay, so let's go, first game that we've got to try out, and some of these games, for example, um, 
Gran Turismo 7, the VR update is coming out on the 22nd, so we can't try that yet. And it's one of the killer experiences that people are talking about. Um, Resident Evil Village, that's also going to be updated as a VR version on the 22nd. And then No Man's Sky. So those are kind of three key flagship games that we're going to have to wait for um, on the 22nd. That's why, you know, we wanted to walk through the setup. And then this is, again, kind of the initial experience. But um, the viewing area here, 110 degrees, this is great. I'm going to jump into, really, the game built from the ground up from Sony, first-party developer, Horizon Call of the Mountain. So um, let's get into it. Okay, this is Calibrate Screen, Gaze Tracking On. Gaze Tracking Off, let's turn Gaze Tracking On. So this allows me to look at heads-up displays and then um, select items by just staring at them, which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna turn gaze tracking on. Oh, that's crazy. I'm using my gaze to select either the on or off function. You have to, even getting used to it, I'm just not used to it. My dominant hand is my right hand. Literally, I'm just looking up at the left option. I'm gonna look down and it goes to right. Ooh. The gaze tracking's already sweet. Blameless Murad is giving you a chance. We all make it back to Don's grasp alive. You can talk to him about a pardon. So either take your chances with us or Stormbird. Wow. The headset you can feel it right vibrate when this thing flew over me. Oh, this is so good. Like right, there's a motor in here. It's a snap mob. Yo. Get to the dock. There's more of them! Give me my bow! They're shadow carjacks! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh great, here we go, here we go. This is not fun. Oh, I don't want to look down! Oh shh. Uh damn. You really get a sense of I don't want to look down. It's too freaky for me. Oh, shit. Yeah, this flimsy cable, I'm sure. That's what they want me to do, this flimsy little vine. Got it. Whoa, that was tough. Don's grasp should be close. Woo. Oh, welcome to the real world. Oh, that was crazy. So, big time interactive experience. The gazing was on point. That was fun and whew, I can only last so long in VR, so I'm a little tired. I need a little breather, but um, a lot of climbing, a lot of traversing, at least initially. A lot of climbing, a lot of traversing, some bow and arrow play, some new mechanics. Um, Got to see Aloy, but so far, really cool. I mean, really immersive and a great experience, but uh, I'm gonna take a breather right now, okay? Ooh, gonna take a breather. Let's check out, um, let's check out our friends. What do we got here? Play a little Moss Book 2. I played the original Moss, so I say, let's give it a try, okay? Oh, we high-fived. So I'm gonna play another game here. This is called Kayak VR. Um, so like the name says, implies, I think I'm gonna probably kayak. So uh, we'll give this one a shot too. I'm getting a little motion sickness in this one. Let me be honest. No, move. Okay, uh, oh, sometimes you get a little sick in there. Woo, so 
I think that, you know, obviously the experience is extremely more immersive. Um, the fidelity and the graphics are great. I still kind of can only last around like uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, when the VR is moving around a lot. But, um, you know, still really fun, great stuff. And uh, I think that as ultimately, I think the, the vibration and the haptic feedback in the controllers and in the headset really add to the experience. Uh, the audio, the 3D Tempest audio engine, really great as well. And I'm just gonna keep on, you know, I think first impressions are really good and we're gonna really need to play the top tier games, you know, Resident Evil Village, Gran Turismo 7, No Man's Sky, we got Horizon Call the Mountain and that was a really killer experience. I probably jumped in for about two hours in that. So, um, and a lot of climbing, but I think that if people are curious, is this worth their time? I think that ultimately this is taking PlayStation gaming to another level. It's also adding new things um, from a VR experience that we just haven't experienced. I mean, just the fact that you have feedback here and then uh, the gaze aspect, I cannot wait to see that used more and more in different games. Uh, it, it's almost freaky cool how accurate it is in just selecting menus by looking at different things. So um, I'm enjoying this thoroughly and first kind of impressions, first reactions and set up. Um, this is this is something special. I think it's just only going to get better. And we know that Sony is launching with around 30 titles and they have like around 100 in the pipeline. So this is not something that's not going to be supported. This is absolutely going to be supported. And so I can't wait to see what keeps on coming for the PlayStation VR 2.